Sharon, you guys have been doing this for years, and there have been some years where it is just miserable outside <laughs> for the students and for you guys on stage doing these experiments. But tomorrow's not going to be one of those days, is it? No, tomorrow the weather, you know, is supposed to be calm, which we're excited about. This is actually my first Rangers weather day, though. Uh, I was supposed to do it in 2020, and we all know what happened then, right? <laughs> so uh, looking forward to it. The weather should cooperate. Uh, the weather is pretty nice right now. 78 degrees at DFW. Does feel like 79, though. Those feels like temperatures are coming back to play because uh, the humidity is starting to increase just a little bit. Dew point at 55 degrees right now. Uh, we've got a south southeast wind at 11 miles an hour. It's gusting to 24 miles an hour, though. But you notice in Tarrant County, we've got some of those clouds. Uh, in Dallas County, not seeing much in the way of cloud cover. So the clouds have really kind of been building into the west. Temperatures are a little more mild out to the west because of it. Remember, the cloud cover kind of prevents all of that heat from reaching the ground during the day. Uh, it's still in the low to mid 70s, though. You've got 72 in Bridgeport, 73 in Graham, 74 in Mineral Wells. But you compare that to 77 in Dallas and Waxahachie, Hillsboro, also sitting at 77. And it's actually close to 80 degrees in Palestine right now. So we've got temperatures that are sitting in the 70s. It's a little bit warmer to the east. But what everyone has been dealing with today are these south southeast winds. So remember, the last a couple of days we've been talking about the dry air in place, the dew points in the 30s and 40s. Well, now we're starting to see those dew points getting back into the mid and upper 50s, a few spots with those dew points in the low 60s. And with southerly winds kind of really expected to pick up, the breeze is going to be pretty strong for Thursday and Friday and into the weekend as well. So we start to see these dew points in the mid and upper 60s by Monday and Tuesday of next week. We've got dew points forecast in the 70s, so the humidity is returning to North Texas. And with the increase in moisture, along with a little bit of a stormy weather pattern, rain chances going back up. So Friday, 20% coverage. Saturday, most of the day, 20% coverage. It's a little bit higher to the east of DFW. And then Sunday and Monday looks like it's going to be the most widespread as far as rain and storm coverage goes, but still uh, only 40 to 50% in coverage. But let's talk about Friday briefly. So there's a severe weather threat. You notice that level three enhanced risk into parts of Kansas. Uh, that's where the greatest threat for severe weather is. But you do notice that some of our northwestern counties highlighted under that level two slight risk. There's a low end severe threat if the cap breaks. That's a very big if. Uh, it does look like it would be a very unstable environment, but it's a very strong cap. So right now we're going to be watching that closely, but it looks like we'll generally be rain free on Friday. So keeping an eye on that 20% coverage tomorrow, we're up to 85. Friday, we're up to 87. Uh, the allergens are in the medium high category for Thursday, Friday, and into Saturday as well. Saturday, of course, the rain chances are at 20%, but it picks up to 50% on Sunday. And we're still looking at it kind of being warm, muggy, with some rain and storm chances to start next week, guys. Aaron, thank you so much.